Now, the other thing that I want to talk about that you brought up, uh, which is a really, really good point, was that, um, you know, some people, they really like um, deep, mm. hard work. And, um, and, and yes, I too have, have had experiences where um, both men and women have, have uh, asked, um, have asked me if I have strong hands, right? It's this care, it's this quality of strength that I want to talk about. <clears throat> okay. There is the strength of, of, um, of your physical being. Yeah. There's the, as in like the amount of, of muscle you have and, um, um, how solid and strong your bones are. Um, there's also a question of strength as to, as to how much, um, uh, it, it relates into Lomi Lomi as to your strength relating to uh, how much pressure you're able to deliver, right? <clears throat> and here's the thing <clears throat> with that. Um, and here's the component to that that needs to be made very clear. You as a healer, you as a healer that practices Lomi Lomi, that all the strength that you need comes from your ancestors. All the strength that you need comes from your guardians, comes from that higher power, that higher being that you're calling for. <clears throat> so many a times when we talk about pressure, we're talking about your, your, your physical ability to compress a person's body, to compress their muscles, to compress their tissue, their tendons. Um, and, and what we're talking and what I'm sharing about now, it, and because we're in Lomi Lomi, is the fact that it is the energy of a kuha that can, um, that can, that can apply the ultimate pressure. So with that mana, yeah, there's two things here that I want to talk about. With that mana, right? Mana meaning your spiritual power. Yeah. Your uh the the this the 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 pure energy that you have that you were born with that grants you um uh, uh certain spiritual abilities, yeah. That mana combined with the, the, the healing power and energies of Akua yeah, can uh, apply pressure um, to, to levels that uh, an individual might not have ever experienced before. Right. So and in talking about that, there's there's the kind of pressure where you where you're using your physical strength. Yeah, there's the physical pressure that you're that you're applying through your physical strength, through the weight of your of your body, through the through the 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 the, the tensing of your of your muscles right in your forearm in your hands in your bicep in your shoulder through your back that's that's all pressure that you can achieve on a physical level through by by applying your, your physical strength the <clears throat> the pressure that i'm talking about now is the kind of pressure that comes energetically. Right. So I can and do lean on and call for the that healing power from 
the source from a kua to apply the the pressure and the depth right see here's the other thing about it when those two are when those two are communicating with each other when you're when you're uh, when when you are allowing those energies to flow through you and to and 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 blending them together um, you can achieve uh, I, here's what I want to say when you apply physical pressure right meaning you're using your physical form to apply it your muscles, your strength. Yeah. It's only surface. Yeah. It will only, it will only breach the depths of the, of the surface of the person that you're working on. But if you, if you con, if you contact and connect and call through the energy of Akua of the source, then that pressure will permeate through the entirety of the person. Yeah. Through the entirety of the area that, that you're working on or that your hand is over or that your arm is making connection with. And there's a dance, right? There's a dance and a flow in there too. So for example, sometimes, um, sometimes uh, I do strictly utilize my physical strength. And I can guarantee for most people that are, that are doing uh, any kind of massage, right? That aren't, um, that aren't connecting to a source or that aren't um, utilizing it as a spiritual practice or, or on a healing, a healing level, that's all that they're utilizing. And it's also the reason why many people that do uh, therapeutic massage uh, become exhausted. Mm. They get tired and there's fatigue in the muscles and, and in their muscles, in their body, in their shoulders, right? In their hands, because they're, they're utilizing the reservoir of their personal strength, yeah, their personal energy. So, what I'm, uh, what I'm hoping I'm, I'm describing and enlightening you to is that uh, you can utilize the energy from the source yeah, to aid you in the work of doing Lomi Lomi, right? So that you don't, uh, um, uh, you don't reach a level of physical exhaustion um, it can um, <clears throat> it can expand, yeah, your your stamina, your the and the duration um, of the work that you do through Lomi Lomi by leaning on by connecting to that source. If you're only utilizing your energy, well, you're gonna you're gonna uh, you're gonna tap out much sooner. Mm. Yeah. And we can build just like we build our physical stamina. So you could you can be at a place where you start off and you're like, okay, I can do two lomi lomis or I can do two massages a, like a day. Yeah, before or maybe it's like I can do five or six or seven, yeah, five massages a day. Yeah. When you begin to apply the energy of a kua or the energy of that source into it, you can double the amount of, uh, you can double it, yeah? Where if you were started with two, you can do like five in a day. If you started with five, you can do more. Um, so there's that part to also consider. Um, but what the what I was really getting to in there is that just as we can we can train our our physical body to endure longer, we can also train our physical our spiritual connection to receive more.
it's a, it, it's just a, it's a spiritual muscle comparison to a physical muscle. Your channel, yeah, your aqua cord, that connect that line of connection that you have is a spiritual muscle. So the more you utilize it, the the cleaner it is, the um, the stronger it becomes, and the wider it's capable of opening to receive what it needs to. So, you know, that's the, that's the reasons why we talk about the principles. That's the reason why we talk about the disciplines of praying and you're working out, you're working, you're, you know, you're exercising that spiritual muscle, that spiritual connection that you have, making it stronger. Um, and clearer and cleaner and all that. So you apply both, it will, it, it will improve your, uh, your lomi lomi, yeah. Exponentially, I mean, that's just what it is. So now, and then one more point before we move on, yeah, there, um, there are times when I'm, when I'm doing Lomi Lomi where I, uh, I uh, just allow that power to completely flow through me. Yeah. And, uh, and what seems like a touch or, uh, a simple laying, like laying your hand on somebody, the, it, that's what it looks like because that's what the physical action is, but what the person is feeling is totally different. <laughs> oh, no, no, just got to use your connection. And really the, uh, a lot of the pressure that I do is very little um, of my own physical, my own physical strength. Yeah. When I'm applying pressure, I'm going to let them do it. What I'm, what I'm concentrating on physically is, is being stable and then in, in the intention. Um, and then, you know, when it's like, oh, I need more pressure. All I got to do is think about it. All I got to do is see it <clears throat> and it's very fast. You know, it's very swift. I don't want to say it's fast. Um, it's very swift, right? Because if you notice, even in the practice videos, right? When I really get into it, I'm moving. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not like, it's not like I'm, I stop to, I stop to focus and to apply pressure and to up, apply the technique and, and, and disalign myself from the flow of the Lomi Lomi. No, it's happening in the flow of the Lomi Lomi, right? So, and you're seeing and you're looking and you're spelling and you're feeling and you're, and you're connected. And all it takes is, a, is, is, is the acknowledgement is to rec, all it takes is just recognizing it, just seeing it. Oh, this part needs more more pressure, and then the pressure's there. Yeah, and the pressure's there not because you're physically like, oh yeah, there it is, and you're and you're going for it, you're digging it. No, you're picking it up. Your senses and your eyes are like, oh yeah, that place needs more, needs needs more pressure, and that alone just communicates it, and your channel just whoop, opens. It opens the the valve of that energy. while still keeping in the flow of the dance of Lomi Lomi. Right. So, mahalo. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, so 